This is a light bulb, like a holiday light. And we are going to paint it using just one color. You get to pick your color. After you sketch it lightly, you start with a rectangle that's about like the L of your hand. Then let the curved part touch each edge of the paper and bring it all the way down to the end of the paper. It's like an oval. Pick one color and paint the entire light bulb with that one color. This is tempera cake, so you have to wet your brush, rub it around on the color that you have selected, and paint the whole light bulb with that one color. Wet your brush so that it will move. You do not want to scrub with your brush. You want to paint with the tip of the brush and get the colors to flow nicely in one direction. Sometimes I have to go back and repaint on top to get the colors to blend and smooth out. I can put one coat of paint on and then I can wet my brush and add more on top of it. You can see that part looks a little wet so I maybe can just work into the other part of the light bulb and blend it. But just stick to that one color and paint the whole light bulb, whatever color you chose, with that one color. Keep working till you get it nice and smooth. Make it look neat, not scribbly. Once you have at, finished up that whole light bulb with the one color, now you're going to go back with the white and you are going to outline the whole light bulb. Now as you outline, you notice how it's mixing. As it mixes, it's making a tint of that color. Tint is white and a color mixed together. So I have to rinse my brush every time I need some more white paint. I have to rinse my brush because I do not want that color to mess up my whole little pan of white paint. So every time I need more white, I have to clean my brush, get fresh, wa uh, fresh water, and then more white paint and continue painting. Outline every bit of the light bulb and the part that would screw into the socket with the white paint. And just like before, you can go back on top of it. As it mixes, it's kind of a lighter color. That's what a tint is. And you can just keep adding white in layers until you get it to be a lighter tint. You can also add a little shine mark, a little glare mark, kind of like a comma or a little part of a rainbow, and that needs to be white. So again, by this point, some of that paint in the middle has dried a little bit, and it'll be easier for you to get white to show up. But don't worry. Once these are completely dry, when I bring it back next week, we will add a few more details, maybe with some oil pastel or a white crayon. But just keep outlining and making the tint of the color 
that you have selected and it'll shine bright.